Hello friends, this is Vaseem and you are watching Embedded System in Pajama. This video is a part of Rust series and in this video we will learn about Rust variables. So if you see these are the topics we will cover today and let's get started. So to declare any variable in Rust we have to use let keyword. So let keyword is used to declare a variable and let keyword should be followed by a variable name, let's say a, and you can assign value to a variable at the time of declaration as well. So, and it should be end by semicolon. So if you want to print this variable, we can use print ln macro. I will talk about macro later, but for time being now, just learn that print ln macro is to print or output anything from the rest to standard terminal. So let's put a here and uh, print it. If you see, uh, we are getting 10. So if you see closely, while declaring the variable, we did not mention its type. So, usually in many programming languages, if we declare any variable, we mention data type like char or string. But in Rust, here we did not mention it because Rust can automatically deduce the data type of variable during compile, during compile time. And we can also explicitly mention the type of this variable. Let's here we want 32 bit signed integer. So we can mention like i32. So i mean i denotes here that this variable will store signed val sign values. And 32 is the size of this data type, size of this variable in bits. So this is a 32 bit signed integer and if we run it works fine so uh, explicitly mentioning the type is also called type annotation but most of the time we do not require to explicitly mention the data type so let's move to another topic called immutability and mutability so what is immutable anything which cannot be changed is called immutable so in rust by default every variable is immutable until and unless we specify that this variable is mutable so let's understand here suppose we have defined a equal to 10 and we want to reassign this a with 20. If we do this in Rust, so we will get a compilation error that cannot assign twice to immutable variable. So by default in Rust, every variable is immutable. To make any value mutable, variable mutable, we have to use mute keyword. So let's run now and we will get away with this uh, that error so we are getting some warning because we are not using this a but that is fine for now now uh, let's discuss about delayed assignment so we can declare a variable and during the declaration we can not assign we can choose to not assign any value to that variable so if you see here, we have defined a we have declared a variable called a, and we are assigning twenty after that statement. Like in between, there could be multiple statements. So this works fine for Rust. So we will not get any error. But if it is immutable variable, you can only assign it once. So if we are trying to assign any other value after this assignment operation, we will get the same error 
called can't assign twice to immutable variable immutable variable so and another important thing that is very specific to rust is called shadowing so let's discuss about shadowing so let's we create a mutable variable a and let's uh, make it a string called hello world okay and let's print it here in the next line so if you see here uh, hello world is get printed now we can change this variable from a string to any other type by redeclaring the variable with same name so let's say we want to convert this variable a to some integer and this is fine in rust so if we print it so this a will print 10 so if you see here 10 is getting printed and this is this works fine in rust so we can say that this line the declaration let a equal to 10 has overshadowed the property of a declared in line number 5 and one more important thing we are not changing the data type of a we are also changing the characteristics of a from mutable to immutable so here you can see like we can reassign a with some value called by world and it will work fine without okay so we miss the semicolon my bad so it works fine but as we as the time of redeclaring we did not mention the mute keyword so this variable will become immutable and we cannot assign value so if you see we are getting the error that we cannot assign twice to immutable variable so i am done here and see you in the next video